five lessons in life that you need to know. Hi, my name is Michelle Jewsbury with Elite Mastermind, and today we will be discussing the five lessons in life that you need to know to have an even better life. Number one, dream big. Have a burning desire. Go after something that is outlandish. Go after something that people tell you you can't do because you can. You need to dream. You need to be creative and make sure to aim for the stars. If you aim for the stars and you hit the moon, you've accomplished more than 98% of the people on this planet. Now, if you aim for a mud puddle and you hit it, well, then you just hit a mud puddle. Go after what it is that you want. Have a burning desire to achieve your dreams. Now, failure comes with the territory. Henry Ford is an automobile maker and, you know, questioned to be one of the best automobile makers of all times. Henry Ford had obstacles and had failures. Henry Ford said that failure is simply the opportunity to begin again, this time more intelligently. Henry Ford had many failures in his life. Before he was able to produce a car, he raised the capital to do so and burned through it all without producing a car. His next obstacle was he eventually produced a vehicle and raised over $60,000 more in capital. And then all of a sudden the Detroit Auto Company went bankrupt. So what was Henry to do then? Well, he kept going. He kept going after his dreams, even through his failure. In the 1920s, Henry Ford had the Model T car. Well, the Model T car sales were slowly declining and he refused to change the design. Eventually, he changed the design and his sales came back. But it's through failure and it's through obstacles that you learn and you grow and you achieve the dreams that you want in life. Number two, you can overcome any obstacle that you're faced with. Napoleon Hill is one of the most prolific writers of all time. He wrote Think and Grow Rich and a multitude of other books that have helped thousands of entrepreneurs around the world. Now, Napoleon Hill's son was born deaf and mute. Napoleon Hill chose not to accept that as his reality. He pushed himself to believe that him and his son could overcome that obstacle. And he encouraged his son that he could eventually hear, that he could eventually speak, and that he would live a normal, happy, healthy life. And lo and behold, he did. And he succeeded. And his son did live a wonderful life and helped thousands of people in the process. Overcoming obstacles is something that a lot of people have a hard time with. Now, there are many different obstacles that people face throughout this world. Me, for example, I went through an abusive relationship where I endured physical, emotional, sexual, and financial abuse but I was able to overcome that. I was able to take that next step in life. I then produced and wrote a play and wrote a book. And I now am CEO of a nonprofit organization. And I speak all around the world, giving hope to those victims that are trapped in relationships such as mine and give hope to those who have overcome that to really be able to be free again. You can overcome. Number three, you have to render the, uh, the world a useful service. So what I mean by that is that the knowledge in between your, your, your ears with your brain and your experiences, you are the only person on this planet who has had the same experiences that you have. You can actually use your experiences to help other people in this life, to encourage them to break through what it is that you've had to overcome. Your intuitive intelligence will be able to render this world a service that only you can provide. Now, I don't know what that is, 
but you do. You know the obstacles that you've had to overcome. And you know that with how you've been able to overcome them, you can render this world a useful service. And number four, be persistent consistently. Make sure that even if somebody tells you that you can't do something or you're a failure, you continue on the right path. You stay persistent and you keep breaking through those obstacles. Now, if you're hanging out with five individuals that are telling you that you're going to fail, I think that it's probably smart on your better judgment and for your better judgment for you to change your association, for you to hang out with people who will encourage you and who will understand you and catch you when you fall so you can pick yourself back up and they can be there to help. And that leads me to number five. Only listen to people who you want their lives. Don't listen to Joe Schmo down the street. Don't listen to your mom or your dad when they tell you that, you know, being a bartender is probably good enough for you. Or I wouldn't go after that promotion. I don't think you can do that. You can't listen to people like that. You need to surround yourself with an association of people who encourage you and say, yes, go after that big dream or that big desire because you can overcome. Make sure that you have a burning desire and that you have a big dream and a big why. Make sure that you overcome the obstacles that are presented to you and that you render the world a useful service and you stay persistent consistently. And remember, only hang out with those people who will encourage you and help you get to your goals and your dreams. And if you're not hanging out with those people, it's time to change your association. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, as well as follow us on Instagram at Elite Mastermind. And for more free content, go to myelitemastermind.com. I'm Michelle Jewsbury, and you can follow me on all social media handles, along with www.michellejewsbury.com and also unsilencedvoices.org. I want to thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.